trap holds a lot of brain rot meme memes cringe content and on occasion you might find some peak entertainment and some informational content now if for some reason you've been sleeping under a rock don't worry i got you the united states house of representatives just passed a bill that's effectively gonna ban tiktok now this doesn't mean that the app is just gonna disappear like your father getting the milk the bill has to travel to senate senate has to approve it and then it goes to the president mr joey b our buddy joe biden already came out and said if that bill is on his desk he's gonna sign that bitch tiktok is cooked the reason why they're banning tiktok is because tiktok claims a bunch of user data they track where you go some of your interests they even take facial recognition and if if you didn't know the company ByteDance owns TikTok and they're Chinese. So you know the US, they don't want those Asians to have our data. Those gosh darn Asians. Don't worry, I'm Asian. I can say that. A ton of other apps take user data. I know we have all had that experience. You're talking about buying an air fryer and all of a sudden YouTube is recommending you ads about different appliances. And personally, I don't care. TikTok can track every one of my moves. They can track how much I pee every day, how much I sleep. Only thing that they're not allowed to touch is my search history. The thing is for me, I know I'm never gonna be off the grid. The higher ups will always find me if they want to. And if you think uninstalling an app is gonna somehow take you off the radar like you got the ghost perk on or something buddy you're sadly mistaken now what if i told you there's a more dark sinister secret behind the tiktok man now let me relax because i'm not the conspiracy theorist type but between me and you i wouldn't be surprised if the united states was slightly heated that you can get unregulated information from all over the world on this app this was the one app they couldn't control so you know what they had to do they had to take it down and i respect them now with that said i'm in favor of the ban of this app and i'm going to tell you why today now reason number one why tiktok must be banned is its adverse effects on generation alpha by now you've all heard of the term ipad kids these little dudes are consuming skibbity toilet memes subway surfers overlays making songs about phantom tax he's and talking about y'all chat words like yeah and riz see back in the he's old days about kids chat. used to go outside and play <laughs> if you ask them to play sports they don't think you want to play wii sports killing their attention spans is horrible and the worst reason is because they're unable to consume long-form content like videos of mine meaning my pockets are going to continue to be empty no but for real though you will see an entire thread of just different teachers bashing on generation alpha for being unable to read unable to write and just flat out can't pay attention the parents are so bad that these kids don't even care when my teacher used to threaten me yo i'm gonna call home okay let me lock in a generation alpha child i get to go home and just watch i show speed all day shout out speed now i can't even act like this is exclusive to generation alpha gen z has fallen to the same problem and arguably worse picking out my gap for the rizzler if someone sends a corgi or a rose i might just recoil or i might my gap Grin. the brain rot is getting too crazy chat he talking about y'all though. Hey bro, what's good? I'm just been practicing my epic riz and all right, here I go. Just mew. It'll be okay. It's such a sussy baka. That's enough. That's enough. This video successfully ruined my mood. Wait, am I deer pretty, bunny pretty, fox pretty, alien pretty? Do I have high contrast or low contrast? What are I you talking about? Know. Roses are red, phantom tax. My G, I feel like we should have had a trigger warning before we did this. What the fuck is this? This is blowing my high game. What is this? You have the nicest level five gal. Now, for some reason, that wasn't enough to persuade you that TikTok needs to get packed up. I got another reason for you. And the next reason is that it's detrimental effects on Gen Z's mental health. And would it be believable if I told you that an entire app can destroy your self-image and stress you out to the point where you start aging rapidly? Well, you better believe me because that is all true for Gen Z. See, with the existence of short-form content, you are constantly being pushed new people in your face. So Gen Zers take the worst approachable route in the world and begin comparing themselves to these people. They'll see Charlie D'Amelio living her nice lifestyle, doing her silly little dances, and think, wow, I wish that was me. There's literally an entire trend of millennials coming out saying that gen z is aging horribly and i'm gonna be honest that might be true for some gen zers but not me because people be thinking hey shouts out you gang black don't crack and honestly that's just genetics okay that's just a meme that people are aging poorly this happened through all generations you look at people from the 70s and their high school pictures they look like they're in their fucking 30s gang i recently found a yearbook from my aunt when she was in high school and these people look old as fuck in that yearbook okay so don't get it don't get it twisted this isn't something that's new this ain't nothing new okay every generation has people that look like old people it's the benjamin button effect and i'm still 15 buddy i am 20 years old millennials look younger than who oh looks no. like you're not a day over 50 oh no I'm 34 why is she we can tell no 
Now I plan to make an entire in-depth video about Gen Z's obsession with appearance, but my point still stands. Women will see Addison Rae, dudes will see Vinny Hacker, and be so envious and jealous to the point where they ruin their own self-image comparing themselves to that's them. That's on them. It's gotten to a point where I've even seen people hating in the comment section of influencers who are fit. And that's how we know Bruh. something is just backwards. Oh, Gen Z <laughs> right. is the generation that grew up during the lockdowns, and those 2020 lockdowns had people depressed. Now, not only did those lockdowns affect us then, they affect us now with things like social anxiety being at an all-time high. Gen Zers are on their devices all day at the live library headphones in at the coffee shop they're on their devices there's no such thing as quality family time you want to talk to your son or daughter at the dinner table they're on their phone you're gonna have to book an appointment and i guarantee you more than 70 percent of the time they're on the app tiktok just scrolling away and i understand hey let's not skim past that point it's actually really important for you to have sit down rapports with people on a daily level okay i work in it now and we have a daily stand-up meeting where we just check in 10 minutes that little rapport that we have with each other builds so much respect. So if you don't have a rapport with your parents, the family dinner table, something like that, just you checking in every day, the respect level is going to drop, bro. Like if I didn't have that for the company I was working for, I don't know if I'd be as successful as I am right now. So honestly, I think my boy is cooking when he says that people aren't sitting at the family dinner table and it's, hey, it, it fucking shows. So let's go. <laughs> I used to do the same thing. TikTok will get you. Their perfect algorithm constantly shows you content that you just love and enjoy. Now, TikTok is a music app, but it's also all about trends. In my opinion, there's a lot more bad trends than there are good trends. More recent trends include, is it pink? Is it grippy? Or I edge to this in the comment section of different women. If you don't know what that means, it's just harassment. Now, I'm going to throw it back a little bit. That's where we at. See, a couple years ago, there was a trend known as vabbing. If you don't know what that is, it is women using their coochie juice as perfume. I mean, it's a sexual... attraction technique where and women or people with vaginas use their vaginal fluids and apply them to some pressure points on their body behind the ears and on the wrists in order to uh, activate some pheromones to attract potential suitors attracting men the only thing you're about to attract is a couple mosquitoes and a couple flies because you know decomposers are attracted to the smell of dying fish i'm bad i didn't have to do it i know i didn't have to do it to him Sabías que existe una tendencia en la cual las mujeres utilizaban los fluidos de sus partes íntimas como perfume esto para lograr que después no. de los hombres se no 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 chat where they do this at where they do this at chat what the we need to shut it down we need to shut it down it's been long enough a couple other trends i wanted to briefly touch on is the silhouette trend give me congress Give me Congress's number. I'll call them right now and tell them we need to get this shit done. We need to shut this shit down, gang. Nah, 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 gang. Nah, fuck TikTok. Fuck TikTok. Nah, nah, gang. Nah. Show off their silhouette by removing their attire and putting on a filter over the screen. A couple years ago, that challenge went completely viral to the point where everybody was doing it. TikTok is an app for children. It's so true. It Even your auntie years. was doing that and one. And this leads into my next point. TikTok has got to get banned because of an abundance of thirst traps. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with what a thirst trap is. Everybody should be familiar of the typical thirst trap with music or hell, even the creepy skits like the arrest me or maybe even a hand thirst trap video. And let me introduce you to the worst of them all. Food thirst trap content. Now, if I was... When I go over to Twitch later stream, this is all we gonna see is thirst trap content. So let's not pretend like the algorithm is not serving us what we wanna see. This is what y'all wanna see, chat. For whatever it's fucking reason. What this lady is trying to do. I'm gonna tell you right now, she's not showing off the food. And as I stated earlier, this platform is for minors. <laughs> Nearly 50% of the users were between the The food the wasn't even in focus there. The food was out of focus. This is a 3 and 17, and they made the use of the app TikTok and Snapchat vigorously when compared to other leading social media platforms. In 2022 and today, TikTok proved that 53% of kids are using the app, while the figure is slightly less at 46% for kids. In conclusion, this is a kid's app, so keep that freaky stuff on OnlyFans. Now, if you thought that was bad, that's barely the tip of the iceberg, because it gets a whole lot worse. The fuck? Is this how Italians be getting down? Did my man just chug the entire olive oil bottle? I 
ain't gonna lie, that looked good, but I'm not touching it. You serve that to me, I'm throwing it in your face. My boy had to make the food nut before he cooked it. Okay. <laughs> And trust me, there's a whole lot more videos where that came from. I'm just not going to show Salt Bay, get your, age, get your uncle, Salt Bay. Potato yet, boy, what's like the deal? Kid, Welcome to the party. And all of your comments Good to that see are you. you up are not adults. Now, as a counter argument, the only reason why I would want TikTok to stay is the monetization aspect. I know lots of Americans make their livelihood on this app, doing different kinds of content Sad. creation and spreading Down information, bad. whatever, whatever. And it genuinely sucks to have your income stream snap just like that. And without TikTok, there's a lot of informative content that I would never know. So yeah. Like I said, Chad, I work in IT. They sniff your income stream all the time. Layoffs, baby. It's just how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, there's actually a lot of good content on there. But I'm sorry to say, the bad outweighs the good. For all of you content creators, I highly suggest that you get on the YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels wave. If these platforms are smart, they're going to boost the hell out of these videos because they're going to want the American TikTok audience to switch over and just make short form content on their platform. I'm curious though. Let me know in the comments below if you think TikTok should be banned or if it should be kept. Because honestly, I've seen good arguments for both sides and I don't blame you if you think either way. That is all the reasons why TikTok must be banned. Not all of them. A lot of them. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like. Subscribe. Join the discord because the discord the discord tells me what videos to make and i make it i'm for the people i want to make the best content that you guys actually enjoy watching road to 20k sub and i'm extremely thankful to all of you guys for supporting me make sure to subscribe to the second channel because i'm going to be dropping a lot of reactions when i get that channel up and Check running my boy out you going crazy three videos every week lhs gonna be on top with that being said it's love hello i love yeah you be going crazy check my boy out his videos are quality 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 work you see i watch damn near all of them so let me know how i'm feeling about tiktok band chat it's probably day three TikTok. of me talking really about the fucking TikTok ban. See, I already got my opinions on it.